you are looking at one of the best possible investment cars that you could come up with. One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. And what I've got here for you today is an absolutely gorgeous 1998 Mercedes Benz SL 500. One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. And what I've got here for you today is an absolutely gorgeous 1998 Mercedes Benz 500 SL or SL 500. I get them mixed up by the year. I do. But it's a one owner car. It's right around 100,000 on it. I, I, I showed it with the, um, bu, 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 bu. yeah. I showed it with the top up already, the soft top. I have the hard top with it. And I figured I'd start off the exterior review by starting with this part and then we'll throw on the part with the soft top and yeah, I don't know. So it's a quick once around to show you how it looks with the top down. I'll give you a little more because I've already said all my other stuff and shown underneath in the before video. But just to give you the different perspective and such, I wanted to show it all. That's what she said. Gorgeous car. Show you the interior here in a while. Um, this is gonna be all about the exterior. So, with that in mind, I've showed you underneath it. I'll clip that in somewhere. Right here, maybe. Bam, bam! We're back to show you the exterior. So, it's in great shape. I'm gonna show you in the evening time also to where you can really tell how it looks. This here. Boom. It's cracked in a few places. Um, I think it's cracked right. No, it's just some paint. Um, and a crack right there. So, these get the... Part of it. It's missing the um, tow hook cover. I didn't order that. You can get them on eBay. As far as dings go going on the side, this car looks clean. There's a couple little imperfections in the paint, chip type things. Um, there's a scratch right here. I did not try to buff any of this out, unfortunately. <laughs> All this comes right off. It's coming right off. So, honestly, the car should have been buffed. Look at that. That one's coming right off. I didn't even buff it. Um, I haven't buffed, uh, but going on the side, it's really clean. There's some, we washed it, so there's a water drip there. A couple of small little marks here, and right here. Will it come off? I don't know. I haven't buffed it, uh, so I really don't know. I'm going to doubt it on these. Just little marks along the edges here, some scratches, scuff type things. And there is a scratch right there. A couple of chips around the gas tank chip right there right here and you can tell he touched it up there ain't no rust but there's a little surface rust right there on the patina type thing on that SL 500 it's chipped up right here you guys loading golf clubs in the car probably a couple of little marks here like that very clean underneath super clean car runs great a little mark here just a couple little scuffy scuffs um, as far as straight straight as can be Paint's in great shape. Shines back at you just nicely. A couple chips along the door here. Um, there's a ding. Glad I found the ding. Uh, I've been buying stuff that just don't have many door dings. And I'm hearing the wind kick up, so I'm trying to talk up and speak up. Make sure you can hear me. Light aging in that light, I guess you'd call it. Nothing all cracked up on these. They're in great shape. Going on this side, it's in great shape also. Not all dinged up or nothing. He definitely took care of parking. A couple little marks right here. That one's coming right off. Look at that. Gone. That one's not gonna. But about half of the marks I'm talking about will come right off. A little discoloration right there. A little smudge right here, which, yeah, that'll come off maybe. He hit something and wrote, flung it up on it. Very shiny, very nice. This kind of stuff here. That's the kind of stuff that comes right off. Just works on it. And that's that. Um, it's in great shape. Beautiful car. If there's anything I can tell you about it, you can call me. My name's Nathan. It's 406-546-8748. Tires are in great shape. Wheels, great shape. There's a Pirelli tire. And I'll show you the tires over here. The wheels in the shade, a Centenero, whatever that is. I'm going to turn this off and get a picture. 
It's a one owner car. I'm gonna check the miles in here. It's low miles, right around 100 or so. Um, it is a very well maintained car. This is gonna be an exterior review. The wind is kicking up. So I'm gonna try and be louder and like make sure that you know exactly what you're looking at here. It's a great car. It runs and drives great. We've been driving it around. I'm gonna back up to where it doesn't be as shaky. And um, this will be, like I say, an exterior. I've got the hard top off. I have the hard top for it. Um, I'm going to do a video with the hard, <laughs> soft top down. And I don't know what I'm going to start this video out with, but probably not this. Honestly, I think these cars look best with the hard top on them. Uh, but they also look very good with the no top at all. So that's the deal. That's the car. I'm going to show you underneath real quick. It's a very clean car. It's a California car. Um, we were just on a trip in Montana and got it registered there as I'm um, thinking about going up and driving up the Highway 101 all the way up the coast here before it gets to be winter. This would be an awesome car to take a road trip in. Right? Right? Uh-huh, uh-huh. So that's the deal. Beautiful wheels. Actually, I didn't know if I liked them at first. Still don't really know if I like them. I'm not a black wheel fan, but they look great on the car. Um, they're a Pirelli tire, and it's a 245-45 R17. Tires just have all kinds of tread. I'd say they're about 80-85% there. Um, updated lights in this year. Um, it's got the bling bling lights. Um, as far as the exterior, let's go around it. Um, I'm going to show you the top real quick because I'm going to try and take the top down. Um, it's in great shape. Everything up is great. It's got some wear from being down. Um, these tops get wear from being down. Sucked up in there. Um, just sitting in there rubbing on things. No real holes or anything. The stitching is old. The stitching is old right here too. Um, it's stitched together still there. Um, it's just not, not coming apart or nothing. It's just not exactly 100% perfect. You can see right there the stitch coming out. The stitch coming out. Um, the window's a little bit foggier or, um, as they get. Um, no wear through, but it's getting thin in here. Like just been sitting down there rubbing a little bit. So that's the deal. I'm going to try to get the I don't know how I'm going to film this. That's the problem with doing this. you got to do it so many different ways. I'll be right back. I started pushing the button and remembered I should show you a top operation. Boom. Everything starts coming up and flipping apart. AC is cold as can be. There goes that. Wraps down like it's supposed to. Our top locks. Actually, the windows were going to come back up. We don't want that right this second. I'm going to turn this off and get out and show you how it looks like this and do my intro over because I personally think they look a heck of a lot better with the top down. Huh, makes me wonder about the antenna. Oh, this one has to be turned off and out and boom, it comes down. Yeah. Okay, well, there we are. I'll take some more pictures and clip this in in a second roll bar operation is just that little button there and it simply push it and the sucker flips up that's it this thing works and it looks great with the roll bar up too okay so i got a picture and that is the car i'm gonna go drive it around the road before i take it back and put it in a stall um, this evening i'm gonna get some pictures of the with the top down and I might click a quick video too. Driving, it's a joy to drive. Absolute joy. Tight, nice, clean. How well will you hear me with the top down? I don't know. We're gonna give it a shot. AC's on. Maybe I'll turn that down a couple notches. It's nice and cold, so on a hot 90 degree day. Oh, right. I tapped it on a little bit with the top down. My goodness, this car is a rocket. Um, I actually didn't race my friend and basically keep up with him in a 2007 or so Mustang GT. Or maybe we did. And maybe we just went right to the speed limit. Whatever it was, the car kind of keeps up with the Mustang, maybe I'm saying. Just almost. Just not. It doesn't have the... What was that? I see something blowing in the road. Maybe you can see it. It's going to land. Oh, it's just foam. I thought it was a hubcap, buddy. I was going to pick that up. So, yeah, it doesn't have the um, sports performance gearing like a Mustang has. But I'll tell you what. 
it, that's faster than you need to go. I'll put it that way. Like, beep, beep. It's fast. It doesn't seem, it doesn't give you the throaty whoom and stuff that you make it fast like that. Um, it's fast and you almost don't know you just got there. Now I just rolled the windows up. You should be able to hear me better. Cornering. Let's just say cornering is a blast and the traction control kicks in very nicely. Let's just say this is one of my funnest test drives that I've done lately. Um, the way this car drives, yeah, these are a steal. These are gonna be an appreciating classic. I need to say that at the beginning of this video. In fact, I'm gonna redo something and say that, something to the effect of, this is gonna be the most appreciating classic Mercedes out there. Something like that, you know? Because that's what I believe on these. This is one of the most underrated cars, as far as value goes, on the market. This and the C4 Corvette, which are pretty much in the same category, uh, they're just so undervalued right now. And hell of a car for the money. What is it, like a tenth of what they sold for? Some of these were 120 grand or something. Less than a tenth. But I also have a that traction control that kicks right in. Jesus, this thing's fast. This thing is fast. It gets great gas mileage. That's another thing about them. They get great econ fuel economy. Um, with the top down and the windows up or down, it really doesn't blow your hair around that much. It's easier to hear me probably with the windows up, but your hair doesn't go all over the place, even with the windows down and the top off. It's got good aerodynamics or whatever. I'm gonna get rid of that traction control. There is a button for it. And it catches it. Honestly, in the rain, the car is fun to drive with the traction control off and on. Uh, it's kind of cool how it just kind of catches you if you're sliding. Very safe, I think. Um, I had the opportunity to drive one of these in the snow. Not this one. It's never been out of California here as far as I know. So we're going to go on this big trip. But, yeah. In, in the snow, these things actually do very, very well. Interesting how the traction control will basically climb a hill for you. Basically, climb a hill. We'll leave the top down. Be ready for tonight. I just put this Magnum up. Great car. I got an Elante. There's something else in the same sort of category. Uh, Cadillac Elante coming up. Check my channel. Subscribe. Um, the Durango is cheap. I got cars everywhere. Fiat 500 just sold. Um, another XL right there with 62. It's got some dust on it. But full review on my channel. This is the car. Thanks a lot. Um, that's been the exterior review. Can't think of anything else to tell you. So I'll be showing you the interior here in a while. Thanks for watching. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. Subscribe on YouTube, Serial Marshmallows, and call me if you have any questions on this car. Um, I'm going to try and have SLs around all the time. We'll talk to you. You are looking at one of the best possible investment cars that you could come up with.